Hey guys, Dano Night One here. Welcome back to episode 10 of my modded Minecraft survival let's play. Oh my god, this is getting a bit hard to say. Um, right, so I'll start the video over here because there's a couple of things that I want to show you, and I can hear that bloody portal. Uh, the first thing is this. So, as you can see, we're actually doing quite well. Um, seeds, we're doing pretty decently on. It's not great, but it's not bad. I mean, we've got excess, so that's brilliant. Um, and I don't know if I've shown you, but I actually decided to turn this into all into wheat. So, there are a couple of bits in, with carrots in, but it will never be replanted because of the seeds there. I keep turning around like that as well. Oh, well. So, our little wheat farm is perfectly happy. It's doing exactly what it needs to do. And down here, a little wood farm. As you can see, it's working away quite nicely. Um, it's getting a decent amount of wood. It's got enough fuel and it has got enough power. Uh, it seems like the solar engine is more than happy with uh, with this wood. Um, the only concern I've got is if it's underneath the tree and it goes night time and this runs out of power underneath the tree, how will it start up again? It won't unless I manually come out here and push it, which I actually can't do. Um, so yeah, I would have to come out and sort it out manually, but with the coal engine, it just gives us that little extra reinsurance that uh, that it won't stop. And it's not like we're gonna run out of uh, wood anytime soon. Yeah, we've got a lot of wood, and we're actually getting excess saplings now as well. So I may have to sort something out with that soon. But I have a plan for that, but not just yet. So today I've got something a little bit different planned. I believe I spoke about it in the last episode. Um, I also went mining a little bit and I got some decent stuff. So as you can probably tell in our inventory we have a few items. And these few items will, um, well they will go into making a mining cart. Now I already made these things um, by accident, but it's fine. So there we go, we've got the standard hull. So we've got the drill, we've got engine, we've got chests, we've got the hull. What else do we need? Well, something quite important would probably be a railer. Um, so for that, nice and simple, done. Um, next thing we're going to need is probably a bridge builder because well just in case now i'm hoping this works how i think it's going to work don't know if it will i'm hoping it will um keep trying to do that i need a bleed piston um there we go bridge builder now i really hope that works how i think it is uh <laughs> i've got no idea to be honest um so we've got that we need uh, where is it? Where's the other thing that I need? It's very confusing when I'm looking at it in there. Um, chunk loader. I need that. But we can't be using that on this. So that's kind of sucky. Um... I'm thinking actually maybe, how do I make reinforced? I'm thinking I might make that. The standard hull I can use for something else anyway. Um, you know what? I think we're going to do it. What do we need? Um, we need obsidian, I know that much. And diamond. Um, how many do we need? Um, five, seven. Okay, so we're going to need to make two of these. So we need two diamonds, eight obsidian. Sixteen and four, ouch. So we're going to need sixteen obsidian at least. Um, we don't have that much, we have four. Um, well, you know what this calls for, don't you? Um, going to sleep. Ah, 
and it's morning lovely lovely morning and oh oh look we've we've got obsidian uh, <laughs> now um i'll just cut and yeah kind of went and got some <laughs> um that was kind of the easiest thing to do to be honest so one two three four and we've got enough of those and boom so this should be oops this should be what we need so we need to now cook these up I believe uh, with this yeah perfect that's cooking up while that is cooking up I need to turn these into bricks because we need six of those um, because we need to do that and then that and that and then there's something goes in the middle I can't remember what it was for something um, something goes somewhere oh it's for the incinerator now I'm not sure if this is actually going to work um, what I'm hoping it will do is this will kind of get rid of cobblestone pretty much that's what I'm hoping for. Um, whether that's actually going to work or not, I do not know. Um, hopefully. Right, 10 iron. Uh, we're also going to need some iron bars, aren't we? So, I'm going to have to do that. Right, so I've pretty much got everything else sorted now. Now, this, uh, this hole is the last thing that I need to do. So, where are we? Reinforced hull. So, we need to make this to do that. We need to make this to do that. We need to make that. Okay. Fairly, fairly simple and straightforward. So, boom. Uh, we only need one. Uh, no, no, we don't. We need two of these. And I miscalculated because I felt like I only needed one. Oh god damn it. Yeah. I miscalculated. Um, then that's not going to be enough. I'm going to have to um, go back to sleep. Ah. <sighs> I had the weirdest dream. I went mining for uh, for some obsidian, and uh, apparently uh, I now have some. Strange how that works, isn't it? Um, right, so I need to take that out. Can't believe I miscalculated that. That was uh, very stupid on my part. So. Everything else should now be sorted, so we've got that, we've got those, and then we've got these on the bottom. And I miscalculated again because I need more. God damn it. If it wasn't obsidian, I honestly wouldn't care. But because this is so annoying, um, it kind of makes it even worse like at the minute it's not actually too bad to mine it's just annoying having to come down here um i suppose i could do it in my farm but hey that would be kind of polluting my farm water and i don't want to do that that's bad so yay we have to come down here every time and i still haven't actually made a decent staircase down here um there are several different ways to get up, like this way, which involves jumping up there, which I do fall on more than once. Um, so it's not too bad, but it's, it's just annoying having to go all the way down there and uh, do that. Now hopefully this will be enough, this will give us an extra two, which would have made it six. Uh, yes, that would be enough. Um, Right, so I will get around to this eventually. So this hardened hull is not a very easy thing to make by the sounds of it. 
and we can't use those sticks. That sucks. Um, screw it. Well, I, I know I'm wasting a load of coal for this. I don't care. Because once we've done this, hopefully we will get a lot of coal back. Hopefully. Um, I'm not actually too sure. I'm really, really hoping we do. Um, right, so now we can actually make it. Boom. And then all we need to do is click this up. And shove another one of those in. Oh! I just shift click that. That works. Is it just these that it doesn't work in? I don't know. So we should have everything that we need to build this. Now I'm going with a coal engine instead of something like solar because this is going to be underground and solar would be kind of pointless. I could go for, um, I think it's a thermal engine, which uses, I believe, lava, but at the same time, I don't know how long the lava lasts. Um, so I don't really want to risk it. I also need some sticks, don't I? That should do, right? Yeah, that's fine. So... No, because it's iron, not sticks, you idiot. Uh, I forgot about that. I uh, thought it was sticks because the uh, the iron one's sticks. And that should be everything we need. So, uh, do that, and do that, and hardened, well, reinforced hull. <sighs> right, so let's put this in. This has got a hull capacity of 500, a complexity cap of 150, and we've got all these parts to put in. Um, these, I don't know what these are. These are attachments. I believe that's also an attachment. That won't occupy any sides, which is good. That will occupy the front. Now, I suppose the railer incinerator requires tank. Hmm. I may have to look up what that does then. So, side chests. Okay, and it's only going to take seven minutes. That's fine. Um, I suppose, yeah, nothing really costs too much for this. Um, I don't know what that incinerator does then. Hold on. I would cut this, but yeah, whatever. It's fine. Um, internet takes forever to load. So this incinerator. It's very bizarre. I thought it would just, you know, be like a bin and just destroy items. Maybe it does, but it needs lava. Uh, yeah, just used to destroy unwanted mining resources and requires a liquid storage module to work. Um, da -da -da. Requires lava to work. Every item drained, um, every item destroyed drains three units of lava. Um, okay, so we're not going to go with that then. That kind of sucks. I was hoping that that was not a thing that happened. Um, but it is. So, uh, the last thing that we're going to need is the... Uh, where is it? There. The chunk loader. So, this requires two reinforced metals, an ender pearl, and PCB. So, we, I believe we have one. Yeah. Uh, we have the reinforced metal. That's perfect shove that in there um, so we've got those then we need uh, iron ingot and PCBs that's fairly simple so grab some of that grab some of that grab some redstone and that should be everything we need so I want to make the PCBs first really so we're going to need one, two, three, four. Get rid of that. And we need to make the advanced one. Boom. And then we should be able to make the chunk loader. Boom. Perfect. And if we put that in, uh, is that an add-on? Yes. 
That does take it up to over an hour crafting time there. Ouch. Um, just for a chunk, oh my god. So that makes it kind of almost not worth it, but I need the chunk loader in it. I, I need it. It's kind of essential. Um, I guess, right, storage, bridge builder, railer, basic drill, coal engine. I guess everything is there. I guess it's time to assemble. So that's going to take an hour of fuel. Which I don't even think there's enough fuel in there. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to end this episode here. And next episode, hopefully, uh, this should be done. Uh, if I've got enough time to wait, um, then it should be fine. So thank you. I want to uh, yeah, I want to say thank you for watching, and I shall see you next time.